Hey guys, so we are back here in the dining room today. We are going to do a little Dollar Tree haul. This is what I found today while I was out Dollar Tree shopping. So I just wanted to show you guys what I found. Not the cat food, that is definitely not from Dollar Tree. I wish they sold it at Dollar Tree because this was $80. All right, moving right along. Okay, you can see everything right here. So I'm gonna move this over to the side and then let's get into it. So first order of business, I found a receipt book. Um, I thought this would come in handy. There is some side work that gets done around here and I thought these would be good for customers, especially this time of year, people are asking for receipts for their taxes. So I grabbed one of these and then I went ahead and picked up two of these. You will see it in the walkthrough. I'm probably just gonna post these videos together. I don't think I will separate them depending on how long it is but I did show these in my walkthrough. And this one is the little critters version. These are finger puppets and it's a little felt kit. So it comes with all the pieces here. And then you can see kind of the cutouts here. I didn't see any glue or anything. So I think you just kind of stick these together. I haven't messed around with felt in a very long time. Um, as far as making anything, usually the felt things that I've purchased are already put together. So I think you can just use some glue Put those together but these are going to go in our samaritan boxes for the church um i thought the kids would enjoy these these are super cute so i got these little um the little animals for the boy box that we're doing and then i picked up this like nativity scene for the girl box i did get her a bible so i thought this would be cute to add to her box and i know um i don't know if i can send glue or not i'll have to see if that's a thing Otherwise, I'm not sure how you put these together. I've never taken one of these apart and looked at them um, in detail and it doesn't look like it comes with any instructions. So there's that, so grab two of those. I did go ahead and pick up this. This is for a birthday party that we're going to. This is the Minecraft um, socks. These look really nice. Um, it says that they fit shoe size six to 12. They are pretty large. They look like they are um, not just a standard sock, but like the longer socks. So these are really cute. Minecraft, I don't know if I said that already. And what I love is Dollar Tree did this little perforated $1.25 tab, flip it up and take it off. That solves that problem. So that's gonna be an add-in to a gift. And um, these will go with that. I did find these little Minecraft people. This is Steve. And as you can see, I started taking the label off already right here. These are the peelable labels. So that's pretty awesome because we can just take that right off. So it looks like it does kind of make a mess. So that's gonna take some work. I'll do it off camera. But yeah, super cool that that label comes off of that as well. And then I did get the pig to go with it. And then I grabbed Creeper to go with that as well. So just a little Minecraft characters. Um, those are gonna be part of a gift that we need for a birthday party. And then this is the soap that I was talking about in my other haul video. I said that there were different um, scents. This one is my family's favorite. So this was the one I was looking for yesterday, couldn't find it, so I went ahead and grabbed that other variation of it. Um, these are vegan soaps. Um, this one is the Sea Minerals. So this is the one that we like the best. Um, it just feels really good when you use it in the shower, you feel nice and clean, and the smell is just a clean, fresh scent. It's not overpowering, it just smells really good. So these come with four to a package, and they last fairly long. Um, the one in our shower, obviously, two people are using it, so it lasts pretty long, and I really enjoy it. So I grabbed another one of those. I said I would when I found them. And then everybody has been kind of talking about these on their channels. Um, if you do watch other YouTube um, Dollar Tree hauls, so I'm sure you've seen these already. I did show them a while back when they first put them out in the like Christmas gift section. And um, we're gonna be seeing a lot of really cool gifts that are coming out. I picked these up for gifts as well. So I wanted to mention, um, this does have the $1.25, it's not a sticker, it's not removable, you can just put a Christmas sticker over it or whatever kind of sticker you want over it to cover that. Or if you don't mind, just leave it, some people don't really care. Um, these are really nice, they're made out of wood. They're cute, they're really like well put together. 
You can hear the pieces in there. It does say that it's a Greenbrier product, so a Dollar Tree brand. I did grab the tic-tac-toe. I grabbed the checkers. They only had one checkers left and two tic-tac-toes or else I was gonna grab another set. What I wanted to mention about these that I was getting at, got distracted, but what I was getting at was the fact that we go to a lot of Airbnbs. I prefer to stay in an Airbnb instead of a hotel just from the last couple experiences that we've had in Airbnbs. They have been really good. They go, um, there's nothing, no surprises. Everything goes as planned. They've been really beautiful homes. They're clean. They're comfortable. Um, we've had like six people um, in one of them. And then the other one we had my son's graduation party in. So there were several people over the six people limit. And the homeowner was totally cool about that. Obviously, I asked before we did any of that. But just super nice people. We've had an awesome experience. So... I, my point is, I'm getting at, I thought these would be really cool to leave with a little thank you note. So some um, Airbnbs leave you stuff, like I know there's this one review that we were looking at, they leave fresh baked cookies for their guest. Another one leaves toiletries, and in an Airbnb, they don't have to do any of that. It tells you in the description what the amenities are. Some of them say there aren't any amenities, bring your own stuff. But everyone that we've had so far, it's just been fully stocked as far as shampoo, conditioner, laundry soap, dish soap, sponges, dishes, cookware. We've cooked in these houses, um, cleaning supplies. One of them even had a coffee maker sent to the house because the coffee machine wasn't working. Just like we've had a very good experience. So I thought this would be like a really cute gift or even those puzzles that we found the 500 and the thousand piece puzzles that were not Greenbrier or Dollar Tree brand they were really like super nice they were like retailing for $20 or somewhere along those lines those would be really nice gifts too especially since we only paid $1.25 for them just cover up that little sticker leave a little thank you note or a thank you card even write on, on right on a post-it and just put thank you we appreciate you whatever I'm all about kind little gestures like that, especially when people are lending you their home. I know it's a business, the Airbnb company and industry, but that's still somebody's home. So I think that would be a cool little gift. And then last but not least, um, these are the only things that I have um, that I had been looking for on my wish list. It's going to be the soaps. So if you... Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put, like I said, the walkthrough with this video or if I'm gonna separate the two depending on how long they are. But in my walkthrough, you do see that I find the gingerbread, I find the Santa, I find the Christmas tree, and I find the snowman. Those are all four. So based on the fragrances is how I chose the ones that I was gonna pick up. It does have a little label here with the $1.25 tag. Again, if you're giving this as a gift, that can easily be covered up. Or you can just remove this whole thing if you wanted to. This one was cranberry scented. I did open all of them to smell them. And it doesn't, it smells like berries. I don't know that it's necessarily a cranberry smell, but it did smell nice. I liked it. This was probably, so out of these two, um, I like the gingerbread one better than this smell, but I liked the Santa design better. So I got this for our guest bathroom for the holidays. Um, it does come with 10.7 ounces of soap. And obviously these are refillable. And then I did, I did wanna mention, be careful when you're picking um, the one out that you want. Every single one of the Santas, I think there was three or four, they were all not perfect. They had some imperfections. This one has some paint here. I'm gonna try to scrape that off. There's some like black dots up here at the top. It's not perfect here, but I mean, you guys, we're paying $1.25, so that just has to be expected. It's not perfect, I don't care. It's going in the guest bathroom. You know, it's not that big of a deal. So I went ahead and picked this up. The scent is pleasant, I don't hate it. It's, it's not my favorite, but it's cute and it smells good. Um, the Christmas tree, I did not like that scent at all. And then the um, snowman was even worse. That was probably my least favorite. I just did not like that scent. It was just, it was gross. So anyway, this was my favorite scent out of the four. And he is super cute. There's like, I don't, I don't love the design, but I, I think it's cute. None of these were full. 
I don't know if that bugs you guys, but it bugs me. I know it's $1.25, but I want my $1.25 worth. So that's annoying to me when they don't like fill the soap up. Let me know in the comment section if that bugs you guys. I just like, it's annoying. Just fill it up. What's a tiny bit more? And if you're going to tell me that it's 10.7 ounces, then make it 10.7 ounces. So anyway, I won't go on a rant. But this one is not gingerbread scented. This one is cinnamon scented. It says that it's cinnamon gingerbread, but I don't smell the gingerbread at all. Just could, that could be my nose. You could smell the gingerbread. Somebody else can smell something totally different. I don't smell the gingerbread at all. It's coming through as like pure, strong cinnamon. That's why I liked it. And I thought it kind of went with like his little, I used to like those little round um, cinnamon candies. I don't remember what they're called, but that's what the little buttons reminded me of. So I, I love the smell of cinnamon, especially in the winter and around like Thanksgiving time. So I was happy to find that. I was going to pick up two, but I didn't. Um, the guest bathroom has double sinks. So I was just going to put one of these at each sink or maybe I'll put one in the kitchen. I'm not sure. Um, the reason I didn't want to go overboard with these is because I do still like to buy um, the gel soaps from Bath and Body Works. I did want to go there today. It doesn't look like I'm going to make it. But I did want to pick up some of those soaps for the holidays because I think they smell really nice. I love the, um, I think it's Fresh Balsam. That one is probably my favorite, like, pine scent. So I'll probably pick those up. So I didn't want to go overboard on these. But anyway, you guys, that's my haul. Thank you guys for watching. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. We are almost to 500 um, followers. And so I said what I was going to do was a giveaway when we got halfway to 1K. So we are almost there. Um, if we can get there soon, that would be nice. So that way we can do a, um, let's do like a gift card maybe. I don't think that I want to do like a collective um, Dollar Tree giveaway of like stuff. I just feel like there's so many different personalities out there, which I love. And I don't want to try to like guess what somebody would like. And then, you know, I just, I think a gift card's better than you can buy whatever you want. You can go to Dollar Tree, you can go to Target, you can go wherever. You can put gas in your car, you can go to McDonald's, you can do whatever you'd like. Um, this is my little Halloween setup here. I didn't really show it. Um, we do have some signs up here at the top. Everything here pretty much is from Dollar Tree. Um, the only thing that's not is obviously my Pop Funko. I found Joker at um, Savers. Um, that black magic candle in the back, the bigger candle, that one is from Ross. Um, the other candle next to it that is matte black, that is DKNY. I got that as a birthday gift. And then my little um, Hocus Pocus witch up there, Winifred, is from, I can't remember if I got her at Lowe's or Home Depot, but I love her. She's so cute. And then um, everything else is from Dollar Tree. I can't remember if it was two years ago, a year ago. Um, but yeah, everything is from Dollar Tree, the tablecloth, all of that stuff. Oh, this is my um, scent plug-in from Bath & Body Works. I don't like to leave them plugged in 24-7, especially when I'm not home. And this one does have a light in it, so I didn't want it to burn out because I love it. It's one of my, this is probably one of my favorites that I have besides the like Wicked Witch Hand eating or holding the apple. That's my other favorite. Um, so I took this out, but it's almost empty anyway. I need to refill that, but I plug it in at night. So that way this room has a purple glow. And so, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, so I may combine this video. I may not, we shall see, but otherwise I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.